We are continuing with graphing. Oh, sorry, so that means I was talking about that. Um, we're looking at graphing, and the technique that we're going to introduce today kind of blows open the door on all the kinds of things that you can graph. Um, do you remember all those families of graphs that we had a look at before? Um, polynomials, exponentials of logs, tube graphs, etc., etc. Right? We've kind of treated them as like different separate worlds, right? It's like this is meant to be a cubic or a par parabola and it doesn't mix with other stuff, okay? And addition and subtraction of ordinates is the simplest way that you can mix together two things that are meant to be quite different. So just have a look at the um, exercise I've given you. And even just the first one. So let's do 1A together. This is a, a fairly easy warmer, okay? What you're going to need for this is uh, obviously you're going to need a set of axes. It will also be helpful if you have at least more than one color for uh, the graphs that we're going to draw. If you only have one color, I will show you the way uh, on this first graph that I will overcome that, but it's, it's a lot easier if you've got two colors, okay? No. So, it says using the pr process of addition or subtraction of ordinates. So, you, uh, right away you're like, well, what's an ordinate, okay? Now, what would you guess an ordinate is based on like what you've seen of this word before? Yeah. yeah, okay, so usually we say for x's and y's, we call them coordinates, right? Um, ordinate, ordinates are just like another one of the words that we use for values, okay? Now, here's a bit of terminology that's worth learning for you. Even though they're called coordinates, right, um, one of these is the ordinate and one of them is not, and they have special names. So the ordinate is this guy. This is the ordinate. Mm -hmm. The x value has a weird name that no one has ever heard of and that no one ever really uses. And it's called the ab You're like, what? Where did that come from? Yeah, hardly anyone talks about it. Uh, and you'll see why when we start graphing this thing. It's all about the ordinate. That's, that's the important thing. Okay. So to begin with, uh, the graph we're looking at is y equals x plus the absolute value of x, I believe. Is that correct? Am I doing this remember? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to think about uh, uh, in terms of this graph is of the components of this graph. Okay, and there are two. There's the x and there's the absolute value of x. And independently, I know what each of those looks like. So this first graph, I'm going to show you, uh, lots of you only have one color. And in the exam, maybe you're like, I, I want to play it safe. I only want to do it in black. So this is how I would do it. I'm going to take each of these individual graphs and I'm going to put them on my Cartesian plane. Uh, and I'm going to like dot or dash them in some way so that I show these are not individually the real graph. They're just the bits that are going to go together. Okay, so let's do the easy one first. Here's x, y equals x. There we go. Okay, we know what that looks like. And what I want to include in addition to that, literally in addition to that, is well, what does the absolute value of x look like? How is it different to this? Okay, so yeah, this part over here is going to reflect that. We looked at this on Tuesday, didn't we, when we think about reflection. So let's draw that in. Uh, this is just a construction, so I'm not going to put them exactly on the same spot. Okay, there we go. So this is just for the purposes of illustration. Uh, usually we reserve dotted lines, uh, dashed lines rather, to be asymptotes, but that's not what's going on here. Okay, so I've got my components. Um, I might actually label these as well. And here is going to be one of the useful things where we told you to do these back at the beginning of two units. And you're like, why do I have to do this? Just more work, right? Y equals X, it has an unambiguous equation, right? It is Y equals X, it's Y equals X everywhere. But Y equals the absolute value of X is equal to two different things at two different places, okay? Uh, over here, the absolute value of X is still Y equals X, right? But over on the negative values for x, the absolute value of x is not y equals x. What is it? Y equals it's y equals negative x, right? So back in the day, we would have asked you and said, hey, really, if you want to do this properly, you ought to label all of your axes. That's, sorry, not axes, all of your branches, right? That's a nice, neat way to do it. But there was not really much of a reason to do it apart from making things look neat. But now there is a reason to do it, okay? I'm going to look at these y values, these ordinates, and I'm going to see what's going on, right? Uh, I'm going to start at the middle of the graph because that's a nice easy point. The ordinates here for both of the graphs, this one and this one, the ordinates here are both zero. Do you agree with that? So I'm just going to, as the name suggests, I'm just going to add them. So zero plus zero is just zero. 
Yeah. Zero. Cool. Right. Now I'm just going to, on this graph, I'm going to go to the left. So for example, if I go to x equals a negative one, so let, let's put that as here, right? At x equals negative one, what's the ordinate here? One. It's one. And what's the ordinate down here? It's negative one. So you add them, and that again gives you zero, right? And you can keep on going to as many ordinates you like over on this side. They're always going to be opposite to each other because... The equations tell you they're going to be opposite. Does that make sense? So this actually has a point now, right? So I can say, yeah, all the way over here, all the way off forever, and now I'm going to do a nice thick line to indicate this is my actual graph, okay? If I add together the ordinates from these, I just get this, well, I get y equals zero, right? Because you add these together and they exactly cancel out. Okay, that's for that part of the domain. What about as we move to the right instead of the left? What's happening? Think about the ordinates again, yeah? If I ever go over x equals 1, here, the ordinates for the first graph, the first graph, the ordinate's just going to be 1. And the ordinate for this graph is also going to be 1. So you add them together, giving you 2. two. Whoa, we're extension 2 students. I could add, right? 1 plus 1 equals 2. You move over again, you're going to get 2 plus 2 equals 4. Okay. So you can see how adding those ordinates gives you the shape. And of course, the shape that I'm tracing out is what? What is this shape? Y equals 2x, right? Because I'm adding y equals x to y equals x again, right? So that's why you get this steeper shape. And that's it. Right? That, that's, that was not dramatic, right? But that was partly because we started with such an easy pair of graphs to add. Okay, does that make sense? Are you following with me?